Hello, this is Bug News, and today we're going to talk about Put a Ring on It <clears throat> and two of the cast members um, who are uh, Shorty Mac. <clears throat> Shorty Mac is a radio personality primary in Georgia or Atlanta or Columbus area. <clears throat> Outside of that, no one probably really knows who she is, other, you know, only by her appearing on this show. And Kenneth. Uh, who's supposed to be an actor or a um, almost chef and a uh, uh, I forgot what they call them when they, when you stand in and you're not an actor but you're kind of extra extra professional extra um, I think he was on Queen Sugar maybe a few times or something like that very few times but um, what we want to do is make a comparison between Shorty Mac's relationship and um, Terry McMillan's book, Disappearing Act, with Franklin and I forgot the woman's name who escapes me at this point. But if you, if you remember that, remember, some of you may not remember, but Terry, Terry McMillan wrote a book, Disappearing Act. It was like hot. I think it came out mm, maybe in the 90s. So this is before kind of like, you know, Kindles and stuff like that. So you would see a lot of people on the bus before cell phones were really like cell phones like they are now. So you see a lot of people on mass transit bus, uh, way or wherever, wherever. I don't even think coffee shops were popping like that. If they, they were, they were like true coffee shops like mom and pop. But, and they would have that book in front of their face, especially the women. And if they didn't buy it, they would pass it along, tell them to read it. But primarily, um, let's let's go down through the book. So I'll just give you a synopsis. Okay, so Franklin's, I, well, I can remember Frank's name. I can't remember the woman's name, but the two people that played these roles was Wesley Snipe and Sanaya Latham. So the role that Sanaya played, <clears throat> she was a you know a woman, she tried to get a musical career started. She lived in New York. And, you know, she was taking care of herself. She was surviving, right? She was fully capable of surviving. She probably was educated. Whereas Franklin, he uh he had he had kids. Um he wanted to do the construction thing and um he didn't have a he didn't have an ava- uh, he didn't even have a high school diploma. And the skills he had, he, he wasn't necessarily certified in, you know, because he was in the instruction world. Not to say he couldn't do the job, but he wasn't certified and he wasn't in the union. So that was another issue. I mean, and then he was in New York. So, you know, of course, a uh, highly ethnic city and in the construction area, you know, it's a lot, you know, it might be some some politics and racial politics going on there. So. um, So, you know, they got to know each other because Franklin helped her move in but when she was moving in Franklin had, was working on the floor and the place wasn't ready okay let's be on the, I'm not going to go into too, too many days but anyway so they ended up getting together but before they got together um, Sonia Lathan's character gave Franklin the key and Franklin said you know you give me the key I can't contribute anything financially by you giving me this key right but Shorty Mac Kenneth alright so unfortunately you know, fortunately unfortunately depending on who you are you know so a nice character got pregnant. Franklin had other kids. <laughs> Franklin became unemployed for a minute. Then he got back on his feet for a little while. But you know, you, when you get back on your feet, you got to still pay that back child support or whatever. And, um, you know, they had, she, they had a, I guess, a climactic point, point is when her birthday. This is a climactic point in the relationship and in the movie. Um, if you understand the structure of the movie. Um, her birthday. Um... They was going out, and um, and I'm paraphrasing. They was going out, and Franklin, I don't know if he didn't get the ticket she wanted or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but they had a big blowout in public. So she was, you know, said, you know, basically, you know what, you know, you got to do everything else. You could at least did this type of thing, right? So Franklin said, you know, basically cussed her out in front of everybody, and he rolled out. Um. After that, it was, you know, downhill, and Franklin still was facing problems, and then she told Franklin, I think, you know, he had to leave, or when he was leaving, or something like that, so at that point, Franklin was drinking, you know, got, and she was gone, and then he tore her place up. Now, if we go back to Shorty Mac and them, similar situation. Uh, climax the point, come in, don't put a ring on it. Um... Shorty Mac exposing all of Kenneth's problems. Kenneth getting some. He said he got some support from the doctor, 
or the therapist and that's you know that's when he realized hey you know maybe this is like a bad relationship and we, and we don't even know if they're together i don't think they're together currently but we won't find out till next week and then um kenneth they they have kenneth say you know cussing out you know publicly it's so bad that the producers had to say calm down kenneth then he went and got his stuff. Then, you know, first she was going to give him the suitcase. Then, you know, she basically joked him and said, you come in here with trash bags, you leave with trash bags. So, I just, I don't know if anyone saw that same parallel, you know, in relationships and how, um, I guess, if, if a person's making promises and then they're coming through on the promises, that the relationship can, can, can come to an end. Um to some degree or or especially if you're being a burden so but help and, and i think kids have a child too and i and i'm shorty mac does have a son and i think he's like grown and graduated from college or at, at least in college but um as you can see at the end it, it was ugly it wasn't pretty for anyone and um i made this comparison because that's what it reminded me of when i saw kind of kind of going off his complaints and, and things like that and when he you know he, he said I need, you know i need to go in a different direction but it might be best for kenneth if he leave like i said yeah um because sometimes you can be in a situation and then it, it, you want to make it work but it all is doing is struggling you all the way around but what do you think do you think kenneth was franklin franklin was kenneth and shorty mac was the character that sanai latham played or you know kenneth was just kenneth and this is Bug News. Please like, share, and subscribe, and hit that like button and hit the notification. Thank you very much.